Hi guys, Joe Fisher again. I'm back with the Brehemoth. Had a couple of people ask me what my cleaning routine is. So, uh, I've done this once before. So I don't know if it counts as a routine yet. But you can see how I roll here. So I'm going to zoom in. So, in the sink over here, we've just got five gallons of hot water. First thing I'm going to do, make sure there's an open something at the top here. And just... Start dumping junk at the bottom. And it's gonna be gooey. Mmm. Delicious. That is soupy. Mmm. Oh, it's good. You can see I've laid down towels here, because I'm going to make a mess whether I like it or not. Alright, we'll close that for now. Alright, so now that that's pretty well drained, alright, so you didn't need to see any of that. So that's pretty well drained. I can, uh, I know it's not going to splash all over me when I take the valves off. I like to take the valves off first, clean them separately. So we're just going to take these guys off. And right there, that noise you hear in the background is my kegerator. It's awfully loud. goes in the bucket to be cleaned later. Man, that, that looks like a rough night right there. So, you may remember from a previous video, I have a spray ball attached to this fitting here. This hose is attached to my pump in the sink. And go. So this is just going to be a quick rinse, just to get all the junk, the heavy stuff off the walls. And rinsed off the bottom. After this rinse, we're going to use some OxyClean. Uh, I'd much rather use powdered brewery wash, but I don't have any right now because PBW doesn't foam at 150 degrees. I think it's 150 degrees, maybe less. The OxyClean foams a little bit, so I use a pretty dilute solution. Probably going to go with about a half a scoop for five gallons. Mix up some OxyClean. Right, so now we have a bucket full of OxyClean, and this we're going to recirculate for uh, 10 minutes or thereabouts. So that goes right back under here. Now one thing I forgot to mention, this is only full up to about here, because it's going to foam. So you can always add a little more later, if you feel you don't have enough uh, volume. Alright, let's see what happens. Are you excited? I'm excited. There we go, we give that about 10 minutes. 
and we'll be back. The dance in the meantime? No? Alright. While that's going on, I'd like to give my fermenter a little shine, keep them nice and clean. This clean fermenter is a happy fermenter, right? Got to keep the brew house looking good. Everything pretty. You know, like me. You can see we're starting to foam up a little bit here. No problem. In case you're wondering what this is for, this, uh, I put ice water in here, run it through the chiller coils during primary fermentation with um, a love temperature controller that turns on. There's an aquarium pump in here. Temperature controller turns the pump on and off. That's, uh, this is just until I put together a, a better system with the chilled water in a fridge or something. One step at a time, you know, baby steps. so warm and comforting. This is why I need an intern. Alright, been 10 minutes. I'm gonna unplug it and see how we're looking. So, some sort of handle on this four inch tri-clamp because it does kind of seal itself in position and I really don't want to yank on the tubes but look at that a little icky in the middle but for the most part pretty darn shiny a little spot we missed there I'm gonna have to uh, investigate crispy and clean inside. I know you can't see in there. Oh, yeah. But there's no uh, no scum ring. Let's see, I'll bring my, my light in here. That looks pretty nice. So, and the last thing I do is just give it a clean water rinse in the exact same way. You guys don't need to watch that. I'm just going to put clean hot water back in here. I'm going to run it through into a separate bucket. And that's really the long and short of it. I mean, that's the whole thing. Now I'll just clean the fittings separately, dunk them right in the OxyClean, and call it a day. And that's it. And when I put it away, make sure to leave the top open. You want to let air circulate through, dry out, so it doesn't make places for mold and fungus to live. That's it. Thanks for coming. And I, uh, I don't know, hope that was helpful.